Yeah! People of the world, what is going on? So, it is an active severe weather day here in the Delaware Valley. Um, so yeah, I just got off of work at 4. And what we are dealing with is a tornado watch until 7 o'clock. We've already had a couple warned storms, a lot of severe thunderstorm warnings, but we have had several tornado warnings. One, I can tell you, may have been confirmed in Delaware. So again, this is an active situation, and we are going to continue to track this throughout the rest of the remainder of the watch. Crazy wind and rain earlier when the warm front was passing through. And, well, now we're just dealing with an abundance of clouds, some breaks of sunshine as the sun begins to set on what has been, well, a shorter day. A lot of wind, and I am driving back to my mom's right now, uh, currently. So, yeah, we are going to see. We have been having some lightning with these storms, which, in the beginning, I did not believe we were going to be having much lightning at all, but we've actually had more instability than I even thought. And I thought we were going to have a pretty ample amount of that instability to fuel some of these showers and storms, some which are severe and tornado warm. So, it's a fluent situation. And just a reminder, the difference between a tornado watch and a tornado warning. So, tornado watch conditions are favorable for the development of severe thunderstorms that can produce tornadoes. Tornado warning, the situation is imminent. Either Doppler radar has indicated rotation or has indicated a tornado is on the ground or there has been actual storm spotter confirmation of a severe thunderstorm producing a tornado so those are the signs and yep we were going to chase a storm right about now i have a class of five o'clock all right so it is about five right now and on the radar Looking at something very interesting. We're under a severe thunderstorm warning, but see this little indentation right here? I know it's kind of blurry, but not be surprised if we see some rotation there and a possible tornado. Right in this location here is our location. I play this back. Okay, I went to not that, I went to an ad. But yeah so right now i'm at my mom's right now sorry i'm not i'm without a shirt but looking out right now let's see if we can see any light yep oh yeah oh yeah yep We're gonna get some type of severe storm coming through and possibly a tornado warning stay tuned all right so just hopped out of the shower just got back from work trying to do a vlog. I'm in the middle of class right now too. Trying to track this severe storm for you guys. Um, seeing some lightning flashes already out here. So, uh, here we go. Sorry, just trying to track this on my phone. I knew I should wait this out. That's why I didn't go storm chasing like a half hour ago. Because I knew we were going to get other storms coming up from the southwest. So... I'm going to step outside and show you guys what we're seeing right now. I'm very surprised if they don't issue a tornado warning. This thing is coming right for us. And, all right, I'm going to step out. Okay. All right, okay. I'm still seeing an indentation, but it looks like mainly just some severe damaging winds with this thing. Also wanted to just point out to you guys, yes, I know I'm in class right now. 
Uh, don't do this at home, kids. I guess that's the saying they use, right? But anyway. <laughs> We're preparing for possible 60 mile an hour wind gusts. There could be a quick spin up in there. Actually seeing abundant lightning right now. Frequent lightning. So these storms are higher top storms, which means they have the capability of producing all types of severe weather elements, hail, damaging winds, possibly an isolated tornado. I am very certain there is a distinct possibility of an isolated spin up within this line. So here we go. Let's see the thunder and lightning as this storm approaches in the distance. It's coming in pretty quick, moving to the north east at about 50 miles an hour. Mitzi, are you ready for the storms? The more frequent the lightning gets, the stronger the storm is becoming. Also, the Eagles are playing tonight, but no one cares because we suck this year. Lightning is getting a lot more frequent, means these storms are strengthening even more. Really want to try to stay outside to film these, but we'll see. I wasn't ducking because of the lightning, I was ducking because I almost dropped my phone.
that right there. It's the shelf. Racing. It's the shelf there. That's where all the winds are encased right in there. Leading edge of this comes through and the winds. Yep, there we go. Both of the storm action there. And we burst for impact. Looking out for a possible tornado. Oh, possible tornado as well in here. Wow. Whoa. Yeah, right. These stones are in business, though. Oh, crap. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh. with these things are really uh, dangerous. Dangerous, dangerous things are just really strong just to get into. Really strong things. And some flash flooding as well we're getting. Oh, we still have power. A good sign. Oh 
and whip them through. And moving right past us, though. Give some additional lightning. My feet are a little wet. Oh wow, I'm soaked. <laughs> I don't even know how soaked that is. Everything is soaking wet over here and I'm just in a corner right now. Trying to stay dry. And that's not working. These people over here. Yep. Powerful in the storms. For the most part, these storms have subsided. And already dropping temperatures. There's more lightning on the back side of this thing. And well, I'm going to have to change out of these rough holes. Possibly seeing a couple of renegade storms down to our south over there where more intense lightning is. Okay, sweetheart. You were scared. <laughs> Mitzi, what are you <laughs> Mitzi. What are you doing? Ugh. Funniest part about this whole thing is that my class has been going on for like 40 minutes now and I just haven't listened to a single word. Except like the first couple sentences. So, yeah. There's that. If you guys like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Turn on the post notice, those post notifications to get notified every time I upload. And as always, be sure to follow my Instagram, at Matt DeAngelis Music. I will catch you guys on the flip side.